Hey guys, we're at the Quail Motorsports Gathering in beautiful Carmel, California. We're here to show off the birdcage among a whole lot of really, really kick-ass custom and production cars. We're honored to be here because we think uh, this week, Car Week in general in Carmel, is one of the most prestigious events in the world for guys that think like we do, that lust after beautiful motorcycles and cars. Uh, we're standing right next to, as we're standing here, we're standing to next to a, a Dare leak by Icon, one of our good buddies, Jonathan Ward. We're standing next to a one-off Stratos. We're standing next to an XKSS, a custom Runge. There's so many cool cars here. We're really stoked to be here. And I think the birdcage is being well received. Hey guys, this dude just appeared. What's your name? Paul Do. Do -do. Paul Dorleon. Dorleon. <laughs> it's an old joke. It never gets old for me. So, so where, Paul, you've been here a few years. I know that. What, what are we doing here? Well, I'm here because I'm handling a 51 Vincent Black Lightning. A real one. Yes. And it's the only road registered one. Really? That's here. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. It's I got legal. You. It's got lights. So we think there are, what, three, 400 cars here? There are 275 cars That's it? here. Okay. 300. And yeah. Nine bikes. A dozen bikes. Nine bikes. A dozen bikes. Dozen and they bikes. don't, they don't, they, it's, it's this small little piece. They just throw it in for but color. The bikes are prominent in the center. So and they uh, they're like an oasis. You put the sex in the middle. Exactly. When you're sick yeah. of supercars, come look at the motorcycles. I haven't been here in nine years. Uh, what is this thing? What is this? Place? When I was here, it was the size of the Quail Motorcycle Gathering. Right. Same footprint. Yeah, yeah, so it's grown a little bit. There's about a billion dollars worth of cars here that weren't here last time. So you, you're just here to, to take care of that bike. That's it. Yep, and hang that's out. That's it. I get to push it home. I'm about and to eat put some it in my kick -ass garage. Food. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie! <laughs> and David Bowie. That's yes. right. And, uh, the thin white duke right here. Here we are. <laughs> so tell me who you are. Magnus Walker, and I'm here I'm with Hannah Elliott. Elliot. Representing Bloom Boat. So I'm here for horse and hounds covering the driving range at the Quail Lodge at Pebble yes. Beach. No, I think in all seriousness, just a great selection of awesome cars. Hopefully we get to drive a few of them, so that will be the highlight of the day. Pretty I'm going to drive Ward's, Jonathan Ward's uh, Hudson over there. Oh, nice. Right, yes. and i got to drive that. The coolest thing I drove today was a 1970 AMG Mercedes 6.7 yes, liter. I saw that earlier. Muscle car the with a six-speed, the pig. Yeah. I think you should in. ride my BMW over here. We saw it over there. You're awesome. going to ride it? You ready? Hannah's going to ride it. It's made it. for someone six foot two she's and gonna, over. She's going to take it like thin All right, so Instagram, at David Bowie's Yeah, at David Bowie, thin white dude, and at the brother of Rob Zombie, Bob Zombie. Thank you, guys. Tell me your name. Justin Hills from uh, about four hours north of Sydney. So tell me about this car. Well, it's it off. 1953 Jaguar XK120. And it's a gorgeous Art Deco design yeah. car. Um, I always wanted to build one. So basically, I, I chopped the roof. So we took three inches out of the roof. A lot of work gone into that to make it look like it hadn't been chopped. Yeah. It still kept the proportions and all that stuff. So the bonnet is basically as it was, apart from the louvers. We've rounded the front corner because they were square at the front. Right. And it's pretty ugly, so we've rounded all this, made it nice. These XK120s are fairly flat through the front. Right. So we've rolled it all under, extended the guards out to give it that, I don't know, that Bugatti-esque. Yeah, I was going to say, that finished um, French yeah. Art Deco yeah. flow. It, that, it's perfectly worse. That, that's sort of what I wanted. But basically, it's still Jaguar. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to keep those lines. Yeah. So can you, I really want you to show what's under the hood. Yeah, I will. All right. This is a, uh, a Jaguar XJS okay. V12. Yeah. It's the pre HE. Um, and I've basically backdated it. I've made it look yeah. old. I put a, an old alternator in it, which is a, uh, oh, it looks a like generator, a generator yeah. with an alternator inside. Um, and even down to all, the throttle bodies. All custom made uh, throttle linkage. They're actually Nissan throttle bodies. Yeah, really? Uh, on, on weather manifold. They're really pretty. Uh, we built uh, the BMW birdcage frame motorcycle, if you haven't oh, seen yeah. it. And it's got these big giant throttle bodies that were for mechanical fuel injection. Yeah. That I just love the look of. They it's look very great. similar, yeah. right? So what is, do you know that power output? Uh, it's a, 
about, guessing. It's about 460. Yeah, and okay. then I noticed inside. Did you? I mean, what all did you change in here? Because so, it's different. Uh, the dashboard is full custom made. Yeah, yeah. I got to the seats and I, and I was rolling. I don't buy anything from catalogs. Right. Rolling through a catalog, I think it's Speedway spares, and I saw these bucket seats, like bomber bucket seats, and I thought they're the right shape, exactly what I want. They look like they would have been. So a that was the piece. only thing yeah. I bought out of a catalog for the whole car was the seats. Wow. But they look fantastic. And even the speed, the speedometer at 200. I've had those custom tack, made. Yeah, yeah. And the tack going all the way to 85. Yeah. I bet this thing sounds incredible. It, revved it out. revs out to about 85. Really? Um, when wow. we was on the dyno, we got it to about 82, 50. And I started to get nervous, so I backed out. Well, how can we find your website, Instagram, any of that? Um, just on Instagram, I think it's Hills & Co. Okay. Uh, on Facebook, it's Justin Hills. Justin Hills, okay. We'll go check you out, man. I really appreciate it. Pretty Thanks good. for taking the time to show it to us. Oh, thank you. All right, it's really, awesome. seriously, one of the prettiest cars in the whole place. Oh, so awesome. good. Yeah, yeah. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, and you want to see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.